Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. It's nice to see you. Hope you're all having a, a great Thursday. We're so close to the weekend now. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. Um, but today we've got Alex back with us again. It's been so long. I think the last time I did check before the stream started, the last time we had you on was uh, early December. I think it's like the first week of December. Yeah, that's um, been yeah. a lot of time. Yeah, but uh, I thought that we would do a Fallout piece today because the, well, today and continuing in the future, um, because the TV show comes out this month, I think. Um, if I was more prepared, I would have the date in front of me. Uh, but uh, 12th of April, that's the one. Um, and... I like Fallout. Uh, I don't know. Do you? I didn't check with you before I asked you to do this, but do you like Fallout, Alex? <laughs> I actually love Fallout. Yes, Good. I do like Fallout. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I just thought we'd we'd get you in to do it. I haven't seen you in a while, and it'd be nice to to have a chat and and see what we can do. Um, so, what's your what's your plan for today? Um, How are we going to do it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to, like, surprisingly, for a person that actually likes Fallout, I was thinking, like, okay, what can I include? And, mm -hmm. like, my memory of the creatures in Fallout is so vague. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they have, like, cockroaches, giant cockroaches, mm -hmm. and they had, like, other big, like, uh, crustaceans. They mm -hmm. had, like, mutated things. It's just like my my mind is like merging them together, like <laughs> mutated uh, crustaceans and like two-headed cows, and what else was there? I, I there was like giant. I don't know how how those were called, like those uh, giant beasts with the horns. The super death super. the death claws. Death claws. Yeah. Yes. Those. I think mm -hmm. those are like the most like. Uh, like the first coming to mind, for like yeah. A, like, but but still, uh, not sure. Maybe I can just like something. Uh, since uh, we're going to like this, the show is coming. We can like try to do some of the characters. I like this the ghoul guy. The ghoul yeah, cow. yeah, the ghoul cow. Do something like that. Uh, I was thinking maybe including the dog because I like. Oh yeah, I can't animals. Remember. I, I don't think it's his is. dog. I think it's probably the girl's dog. But uh, he'll have it in this shot, probably. Yeah. Because... I can't remember. The dog was in Fallout 4, wasn't it? Oh, there was a dog in yeah. Fallout 4. And I can't remember yeah. what his name was. I think it was Buddy. It was just or Buddy. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Was it? I don't know. Um, someone someone will tell us. Dog meat. Oh, yeah. Dog oh, meat. dog meat. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and obviously there's the there's like the power armor that's pretty iconic as well. Yeah, yes. Uh, I don't like much like robots to be honest. Yeah, it's like hard surface stuff. I mean, usually hard surface stuff is like okay to draw, mm -hmm. but I just don't have passion for like uh, robots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, ne I never could like get into like robot oriented mm -hmm. animes as well yeah i uh, like mecha stuff I, I mean i watched voltron when i was a child but <laughs> oh yeah well like the the original That's voltron it. yeah wow I, i'm an, an ancient person so yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah that was cool and i wanted like a lion robot but i mm -hmm. i think my affection to robots like and there. Yeah. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, also, like, those power armors, so it's looking at them now, they are obviously stealing from the uh, Warhammer super uh, space marines, right? Oh, the space marines. I mean, they're very similar. You know, they've got those massive uh, pauldrons yeah. <laughs> as well. Oh, the massive pauldrons, the helmets are pretty similar. Yeah. That's a space marine if 
but AI generated. <laughs> if, you squint, if you squint your yeah. eyes, you're like, is that a space marine or is that power armor? <laughs> yeah, it's like AI generated. But he's like, yeah, it's close enough, but like the details are off. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello, Kathy. Yeah. Hi, Skullpearl. Um, hello, local art dealer. Nice to see you. Hi, Brandon. And Dippy Sock as well. Um, but yeah, there's there's plenty to choose from. As... So let's let's make this dark gray so that yeah. I don't blind. Um, yeah. Hey, okay. I think I'm going to start with. So, uh, Christina will want this in socials, right? So preferably, <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> preferably either square or vertical. Uh, yeah, either either square or croppable to to. Ooh, probable, but yeah, yeah. Just like, if I can like control this from now, why not? Yeah. Uh, wait, how did you move like this? No, uh, I I never used Photoshop. This is my first time. <laughs> it's your first time using Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> use MS Paint for all of your uh, for all of your professional work. Of course. Yeah. Man, I love those people that. Uh, use like the stupidest programs yeah I, I, I i'll try to refer from bad language christina if you're watching <laughs> don't get on edge <laughs> uh but when they use like this like godforsaken program and they do something cool and they're like yes yeah and they use it like a like a promotional thing mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, th I think look what i can do with uh, ms paint and you're like yes you can do that cool Maybe yeah you draw right so there, there was someone there was someone when i first started working at moon colony um i saw in the discord someone had joined and their their whole portfolio that they sent in was uh ms paint illustrations and they were like they were really good <laughs> so yeah. I, I was like I mean, I'm going to have to let you in because they're really good. But at the same time, it's like, you're using MS Paint? That's wild. <laughs> it's like, it's a gimmicky thing. Yeah. One of those. It's just like to get masses, I guess. Yeah. yeah. When you make people like drawing with fire or like with sticks, mm -hmm. mud, mud paintings. And you're like, I, you wouldn't impress anyone who actually knows how to draw. You're like, yeah. you're just doing like gimmicky stuff to make something look mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you like use something that will actually help you draw? Yeah. Uh, something cool. Use your powers for good. Yeah. So these these are your these are your thumbnail shapes, are they? Yes, very very meticulously crafted mm. and with a lot of thought behind creating them. Yeah. Uh, would you ever make would you ever make a stream drawing in MS Paint as a challenge? You know yes, what? Yes, of course. I would I think... make a stream about me drawing with the Oh I would have said my boogers as a challenge, but uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if many people would want to watch that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah. Sure, like, I mean last time I used mouse uh, on this like weird program. Oh yeah, it? I remember that. Yeah, when you came so into Magma. Next time, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can do a challenge mouse painting in MS Paint. I can do that. Yeah. That sounds like that sounds like Melissa when she first started drawing. She said that her first her first experience with digital art was when she was using her mouse to Yeah, to my, for a long mine time. as well. Actually, yeah. mine as well. It, like then you find out that people use actual tablets. But yeah. Yeah. I, I I did try to use mouse uh, in the beginning as well. Mm. Maybe yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we should get a few artists together for a who can draw the best in MS Paint. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, sure, I I love challenges. I I am one of those annoying people that try to turn any everything into a challenge. Mm -hmm. Like everything you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Just to like, uh, especially when I'm around like my my mates. Let's go. Oh like yeah, that. 
Yeah. And then you like, try to shame them for not beating you at the challenge that you just invented. And they, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, okay, man. Cool. It's, but, yeah. it's, it's like when you're a kid and you're like, uh, you're like yeah. playing with your friends, and it's like, nah, -uh, your Iron Man can't kill me because my character has an Iron Man shield that, that blocks him. And it's like you're just making up rules as you go along, and then you're mocking them for not beating you. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. It's called being poor, Jade. Yes, Jade. Yeah. It is called being poor. I'm sorry. I should have Actually. thought about that. I'm coming from a place of great wealth, <laughs> royalty. Yeah. The, you. You you guys use like tablet, uh, mm -hmm. your yeah. tablets to just cut bread. Yeah. Then you throw them in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. I go through a, a whack on every day. Yeah, or like an iPad Pro, but just oh like, uh, yeah. On, on the screen you have like uh, rulers to show you where to cut the bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then you just dispose of it. Like, like, <laughs> it's all broke. <laughs> yes by the way I, I i was poor as well uh to uh, afford a tablet like mm -hmm. my my first tablet was with like this size wow just like it's yeah just like it a, was just like, like a mouse pad it was it had like 512 levels of pressure i remember <laughs> yeah. it was like much smaller than a, than a mouse pad actually it was just like the size of a mouse, probably. What? The like the, the screen that you draw on. I was able to like, it was like huge upgrade from my mouse. Yeah. Uh... And like everyone in my class in school like saw what I draw because I was like in this like, drawing specialized mm -hmm. class. But everyone saw what what I drew on my little tablet and they bought like <laughs> giant big <laughs> tablets. <laughs> That they never used. They just <laughs> told their friends, like, I want that. So they bought them. Yeah. And I just waited for like two years and bought one of theirs. <laughs> yeah, like a second hand. Rubbing dust. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's talk and draw at the same time because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like a podcast now, not a like a drawing stream. I was going to say, it's looking like some, some modern art right now, like a bunch of boxes. All right. Oh, there's two ways I can approach this. I can like try to use values. Mm -hmm. um, let me check. So. Uh, while you while you look up stuff like that, uh, I was going to ask if the people in chat had played Fallout before, uh, and if you have, which one? Which one's your favorite? A lot of people really like New Vegas, but. I don't know. I I never really got on very well with it. I I never played it. I played two. I mean, I, I played the previous. What was the previous? Was it two or three? I, I don't know. Uh, three. It, well, the newest one was four. Four out four. Yeah. So it was. So it was three. Yeah. I played three. I missed New Vegas, and mm -hmm. then I played four. And everyone is like, New Vegas is the best. But now it's too late to play New Vegas. It looks so bad <laughs> I, I usually can handle games looking bad but like this looks terrible at least on screen on screenshot it looks like so bad yeah like, man, i can i can just skip on this one yeah and also apparently it runs really badly now like it it crashes constantly <laughs> it's like an old uh uh, I, I mean, it's not a Bethesda game, but it's like the same engine, I think, as Fallout 3. So it just crashes constantly. Uh, not surprising. Mm -hmm. Bethesda sh should definitely either make a new engine and like, start using um, yeah. better ones. Yeah. Like some people pull it off. There are like some amazing engines out there that mm -hmm. you are like, what, what is this using? This looks. Let me think of. Uh, like, I like like coming up with uh, statements and then having zero <laughs> concrete <laughs> concrete evidence. You know, you know, yeah. what we, you know what we call that, Alex. We call that lying. <laughs> <laughs> 
called bluffing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there is. There is. Uh, what was it? Like this, like snowdrop engine. Then this frostbite engine that uh, mm -hmm. like battlefield uses. Yeah. And then it's like. Uh, what was, what was Kojima using? I have no idea. Uh, no. I can't remember for for. Um. Oh man. For oh, really? Metal Gear Five, I can't remember what he used. Yeah, I like something really impressed me recently graphically, but I can't remember what was it. Played too much games. Um, Dragon's Dogma. That game looks nice. That's uh Resident Evil engine. Yeah. R the re engine. Dragon's Dogma looks nice in like certain light. Yeah. It's like look amazing in certain light. By the way, mm. I love the game. I don't know what everyone is saying. I like people are giving it a lot of crap. I found the game awesome. I'm still playing it though. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Really? You like it? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. nice. Oh, this would be a nice talk. <laughs> you're the first person that I'm talking about the game and he's like, yeah, what? What's that? Or like, uh, yeah, not no, hating I, being completely different from the first one. Yeah, no, I, I, I really loved the first one. Uh, I, um, I replayed it, you know, leading up, leading up to the release of Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, I played, I played some of it. Like, I, I always loved Dragon's Dogma, mm. but I, I always got uh, put off by some of the uh, mechanics in the game, yeah. the, first, uh, the first one. For example, like uh, when waters, uh, just a random waterfall like turns off your one turn and you're like, yeah, that's cool. But then you have to like put it back in your inventory. Yeah, and pull, pull it out, out again. again. <laughs> yeah. And then you like one step after that, you just go to another waterfall or you, or you just roll through water and you have to do this again and then <laughs> When you have to do it five times in a row, in a row, you're like, this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the first thing I, I did in like Dragon's Dogma 2, when you can like just do a quick. Oh uh, yeah, the quick the quick bind things like the. Quick bind thing. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Best change in a game I've seen. Yeah, I uh. I play, uh, so I play as like a sorcerer. In both in both of the games. Oh my god! And oh, yeah. then this conversation just <laughs> <laughs> it, it was going good, and then I'm like, I, I cannot talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so in the first game, the sorcerer in the first game is so much fun. Like you know, you can call down like meteors from the yes. sky and just rain fire. Did you do that people. as well here? You can't. They've got rid of it. And this was one of the no. things. This is one Are of the sure things I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, Sorry. I, was gonna, I was just going to say, like, they got rid of some of the best spells in the first. Like, I don't think they did, the though. One. I I am not like hundred percent sure, but you have found like grimoires in the game, right? Oh, I think I found I found one or uh, one or two. I, think. I I mean, I have six, and I haven't used them because they are like one-time use. I think, yeah. Or something. Yeah. But for sure, the ability is in the game because one of the dragons like called it on me. Like okay. a meteor strike. So yeah. for sure you have it in the game, but I'm not sure if it's in a grimoire or like how you access it. Maybe mm -hmm. um, did you like find one of those like mentor guys for a sorcerer? I haven't yet. Actually, that's a good point. I haven't found him yet. Uh, Maybe we'll teach you that. Yeah, I, I think there. I'm suspicious that one guy in like this cross town. Did you reach the cross town that's between Batau and like? Uh, the place with like the the big the big like gate that you have to yeah. go through. Yeah, I literally yeah. just got past it just now. The, like there is a like a sorcerer guy that doesn't want to talk to me uh, <laughs> because I, I I don't have like the did he say decorum or like something oh. like that? Okay. And he was like I don't speak with like peasants like go away. <laughs> but I I think like if you're a mage or like mm. probably wearing the proper clothes, uh, he will actually uh, talk to you. Okay. And like I saw a bunch of like 
grimoires and books from him <laughs> because I like went through his balcony and like pillaged his stuff. But, but yeah, maybe maybe he can teach you. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to go in and uh, and find out because I literally as I, said, I just went through that gate. I spent so long in the first area doing. I'm still in the first area, stuff. although yeah. I'm like in. I, I'm starting to like slowly go in Patal, like mm. level thirty something. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm loving the explore the exploration in the game. Honestly, mm. Mm. just going somewhere and then you're like, yo, what's in this direction? And you end up on a like completely mm -hmm. different journey. Like yeah. this is the best part in the game for me. For yeah. Me. Uh. Lisa, you asked uh, which game are they talking about. Well, we're actually talking about Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, because... Yeah, which is getting, like, so much... Uh, it's getting a lot of hate. Hate, yeah. yeah. It's, it's called for, honestly. Uh, the only problem it, with it is because it's just... It's not particularly fault in the game. It's just like optimization and like mm. Capcom's stupid decisions for like monetization. Well, yeah, this this is this is the thing. Like, I've I think what the I I forget what his name is now, but I think the game director did his best when it came to the monetization in kind of making it pointless. You know, <laughs> like you don't need to. It is. You Honestly, don't. It is need to buy the microtransaction stuff because it's just worthless it's just not worth it to be fair if it was not on steam uh the game i wouldn't know there was monetization mm -hmm. until like probably my fifth day with the game <laughs> yeah like you, you don't it's not like in normal games like you uh like in diablo like you go in and then they slap you with the store in the face mm -hmm. they say like buy this uh, have you seen what we have in the store? Yeah. <laughs> Every time when you go in the game. Yeah. Uh, here is just like a tiny, uh, it's not a tiny, but it's in the menu <laughs> and you can like completely ignore it and skip it if you haven't like. Yeah. Uh, but then you have that. Uh, uh, by the way, what are you playing it on? On PC or like? Uh, I play it on PlayStation. Oh. Well, I don't know how it's there, but. Um, but, but then you see this uh, weird, uh, like on PC, on launch, they fixed it, but on launch, you couldn't like play a new game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard about You can, like start the game and then you're like, uh, I'm not really happy with the character that I made because you see the first like cinematic and you're like, oh my, he looks like a moron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, looking like constantly being in pain in every like cinematic. Yeah. I was like, I can like remake him and then you find out that there is like a way in the game to buy like mm. uh, uh, a tome that can change your character yeah uh, it's super cheap as well it is but i was like so early in the game i didn't have the like the mm -hmm. cash to do that because it was like follower points or yeah uh, so i was like i can just reach this point like 20 minutes if I start a new game and then you see <laughs> there is no such options which is one of the scummiest things I have seen in a game <laughs> like yeah. to forbid you for playing a new game <laughs> what is that? Yeah. you have to like, go into your files and like delete them well, this, this was the thing I actually because I heard about this and I looked into it because I thought it was I thought it was hilarious um but the way that you had to, to start a new game was because it saves all of your data to the cloud. Even if you deleted your local save game, it would just pull it from the cloud every time. <laughs> so you had to like go into the game, turn off the cloud save setting, then delete your save file, then go into the game, uh, start a new game, turn back on the cloud save setting, then save your game so it overwrit what they had on the cloud. It was... It, it's so convoluted. Oh. Yeah, so uh, this, this was like one of the scummiest things. So it, because you don't have another reason to make this other than to sell like this book 
to change your character. <laughs> yeah. Literally. I don't see other reason for that. Yeah, yeah. Why, why would you need that? I think the I think the director made like uh Oh, thank you, Kathy, for the hydrate. I will have a drink actually. Um the the director made a a comment that was like, Oh well, you know, we did it because it's supposed to be you know, you live out this fate, it's yours, you chose it, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, that's stupid. Just let me start a new game. <laughs> yeah. But I'm glad they've patched it, like they've added it in. Yeah. Also, the optimization is garbage in this game. Is it? I mean, P PS5, I'm really lucky. The PS5, it, it runs perfectly. Um, I mean, perfectly, in, like in. 13, 30 FPS. <laughs> I, get, I think I get 60. Yeah, probably at some places, but in, yeah. in town, I will be like, really surprised. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm really, I am really enjoying it. And I think, yeah, it, it, it's not perfect. And I've said that to everybody. I've been like, it's not the perfect game. And it's not the kind of game that I could recommend to everybody i feel like you need to be uh I, I don't know you need to be a pretty patient person i think definitely yeah that's not a game for everyone yeah for sure especially if you're coming from Baldur's gate oh yeah or like you're expecting uh, some type of like third person skyrim that's not I, if anything, the game resembles more like Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Just go in and explore what's there uh, yeah. for you, and like any type of like interactions with people are not like based on what you say, but more like actions. Or yeah, one of I always struggle to make a comparison because it's kind of so uh, it, it really stands on its own. Um, but I'm always like. It kind of reminds me a bit of Dark Souls um, and like a little bit of Monster Hunter, but only because you can climb all over the monsters and stuff. Well, it's definitely, I mean, it's Capcoms. So yeah. I, I, I think even like in the first game, this like when you search something like the ground, I think it's, I'm almost certain that it's the, it's same, the same animation. animation. Yeah. From... <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think there was like some connection to like uh, Dark Souls. I, I maybe like line here, but yeah. Uh, Melissa says I'm not even on the stream, but that hydrate sound is so Pavlovian conditioning to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hearing the the point redemption sound gets you thirsty. Yeah, I know, right. Make me go and take uh, my bottle. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you're expecting like Skyrim or something like that, yeah, I think... find it. But then you will find something like that you can't find in most other games, right? Or any mm -hmm. other game. Like, like this, this sense of like journey and scale, maybe yeah. like in. Uh, Dead Stranding, I can like, sometimes, uh, have you played Dead Stranding? Uh, I haven't. I watched a friend play the first few hours and we were just laughing so hard that we <laughs> didn't carry on with it. Uh, yeah, Dead Stranding can be actually... Uh... I, I feel like if you like uh, Dragon's Dogma, you will probably like Dead Stranding if mm -hmm. you give it a chance. It has this, the same feeling of when you, when you reach some certain point, like you've climbed the mountain and like you're across the like this huge distance and you look back and you're like man did i really come from that far <laughs> yeah uh, i had this like in dragon's dogma so many times like we, when you see the city when you were like two hours ago and in the distance yeah uh, like the city and it has a like great sense of like scale and like mm. one one of my yeah. favorite things about it is that fast travel is a pain it's really annoying 
uh, and there's there's never a fast travel point where you want one to be. <laughs> but but I kind of like that. You know, you're you're really forced to make make the most like out of where you are. Honestly, I like it in this game. I hated it in the previous, uh, like in previous Dragon's Dogma, because mm. in this one, I think there's like so much to explore. Mm through a certain like area then you can like oh you, you can go through here and grab a shortcut or wait they didn't saw there is a cave there or like yeah. anything in that sort like in the first game when i was forced to like go through the same place like five times oh yeah I, hated it. I was like why is this a thing mm. who enjoys that but yeah in, in this one i actually like it yeah but uh, i think it's it is one of those things. I think a lot of people, when the game first came out, a lot of people were expecting it to be like a, a Skyrim kind of game. And it's like, no. <laughs> if you haven't played the first one, you don't really know what you're getting into with this. It's not Skyrim, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what class did you end up playing as just like a... um, I, I think this is my like uh, I am pl I'm trying to ch uh, to play most of them <laughs> yeah honestly because they're awesome uh, I started with the thief because I played this on the last one and I love it and this one is even better uh, mm -hmm. honestly you should play a melee class but if mm, if you haven't played melee class in the first one you'll probably not recognize exactly what they've improved mm -hmm. but they did improve a lot of it yeah uh, they played teeth and it that's i mean that's one of the definitely the strengths of dragon's dogma like making you feel like a badass in any like uh, vocation that you desire yeah it's not like the most games like kind of fail to do that mm. uh in skyrim like fails like magnificently in any melee class you just yeah. play your acts and then you block <laughs> yeah there's a reason why everyone plays a stealth archer in the end <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I i honestly tried to play like different things in skyrim and i ended up a stealth archer yeah. always yeah it's just uh the only probably cool feeling skill that you see your arrow just travels and yeah. hits somebody and like, like, yeah. I, I, I think I actually installed a mod to just uh, make the this animation appear mm -hmm. uh, more often. More often, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, Kathy has said in the chat they 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 love the thumbnailing so far. Alex, um, would you recommend always starting with a rough silhouette before going into sketching? No. I would recommend you go with whatever you feel like, mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, but I would always recommend you, if you want to draw something cool, to uh, draw thumbnails of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't do it enough. And it's like one of the things that when you do them, you're like, why don't I do this enough? Because this is like, it always gets you so much better results that you would have like otherwise mm -hmm. by maybe i'm just too lazy and i uh, usually overconfident that i know what i want to draw and drawing for a client is always easy because you have like a description they they say okay you have this guy holding a sword attacking somebody and you look it from behind and that's instantly a picture in your mind but when you're drawing for yourself uh, that's an entirely different matter because like everything seems uh, lame to you <laughs> in your head. <laughs> if you don't have like an, an, an initial idea of what you want to draw and you're like, okay, I want to draw something that's so vague in yeah. your mind just doesn't give you anything. Like, uh, give me something cool to draw and he's like, whatever <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me like some like uh, guidelines. Do you want like... Uh, a creature, a dragon. What, what is that? A robot? Is it like a sunset? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, 
you can like go two ways from there like either like search for inspiration online which always fails for me mm -hmm. uh it's the worst place uh, for me to search any type of inspiration because like i usually either get depressed because i see people drawing things that i wouldn't have like imagined drawing myself or uh, you already have something that you want to draw and and it's already been drawn yeah <laughs> like you find some like very cool angle of something and you're like i didn't draw this okay i don't want to draw it or why why am i even drawing who needs my drawing <laughs> in the world anyways and then <laughs> like get depressed and you just uh, go play a game <laughs> usually how it works for me uh, I'll just but quickly, yeah. I'll just quickly say, um, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the raid, uh, Oren. It's nice to see you. A hundred and how many people was it? A hundred and twenty people. It's much appreciated. I hope you all had a great stream. Um, what did you, what did you get up to? We are, uh, we're currently doing a um, Fallout kind of fan art. We're playing around with some thumbnails right now but we actually just spent the last like half an hour talking about dragon's dogma so <laughs> feel free to get involved in that chat if you like um thank you melissa for putting a link to Oren in there yeah let me do a i can do a shout out for him as well but yeah uh continuing with this the answer to that question yes. also with thumbnails you you realize uh, you have so much more uh, stored inside of your subconscious. Like the, it's the only way to, at least that I have found for myself to like access that. Uh, you you just play with shapes, and then those shapes like lead you to another shapes, and then you're like, okay, I can add a bit of this here and a bit of that there, mm -hmm. and then you end up with something cool, and then you're like, I didn't know I had this in me yeah and then you feel like you it was a fluke and then you try again and then you reach something cool again so uh yeah i would definitely recommend everyone uh, to do thumbnails or like explorations of like, uh, what he wants to draw mm -hmm. that makes sense uh Ted says thank you uh i've always had the problem that i sketch my different thumbnails rather than break them down into rough silhouettes uh making me lose so much time because i get overly perfectionistic uh, yeah that's know. like one of the uh sorry for like uh <laughs> abruptly ending in there but it's just yeah. uh it's one of the things uh in thumbnails even you you can do that in sketching uh as well i've seen like some artists like do very tiny sketches uh the same way you would do thumbnails uh but just do them like from a distance that you cannot actually go into too much detail mm. and uh like just scribble to the side or like make like little thumbnail uh, windows and if you're doing it not digitally just don't zoom in to this like <laughs> extent <laughs> and try to do that but just try to focus on like uh composition and like the pose and like going for something that's actually impactful like the benefit of thumbnails over sketches is that you can play with values which is what gets you uh, a lot more mm -hmm. uh, cinematic results in the beginning like imagining like for example this already has a feeling right this is like uh sunset or like sunrise behind him then this always this leads you to like imagine a, a re, like situation like it expands more and you're like okay maybe i can play with the shadows here or like i can cast the shadow there or like put something behind him like uh... but yeah also playing with uh with like Fallout is very American game, right? <laughs> it, it is, yeah. It is, it is very American. American. Something. It has like guns in it. That's, that's enough. <laughs> uh, oh, there's that, yeah. there's that Fallout mod that's coming out like super soon that is uh, London. 
it's essentially Fallout in London, and these guys have remade this, like, they've essentially made a whole new game inside of Fallout 4. It's nuts. I thought about that. Yeah, I thought about that. I honestly will wait, like, reviews of stuff, of such things. I usually don't get overexcited about fan-made stuff. Because yeah. Uh, I know there are very talented people out there. Mm. But then also I know that there are <laughs> some people that overestimate themselves <laughs> and uh, would much rather experience something cool. Mm -hmm. where... Perfect example is I my first dabble into like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Like one a friend of mine was like very into it. He like made those like nights night outs. Uh, he invited a lot of people, like mm. not a lot of people, but like a group of people to play Dungeons and Dragons and he had yeah. like a Dungeons and Dragons giant table with special dice and uh, oh, that's cool. everything and he wanted to be like this uh story storyteller guy. And uh he is let's put it like that he's not a storyteller <laughs> <laughs> i if the experience was like the actual the actual canon stuff that there is a story and we just go through it uh, i would have probably gotten like much much better experience than him yeah. doing uh, he decided like he will invent the story and uh he obviously like i don't know did he use like chat gpt or like did he just like invented it did he wrote mm -hmm. it beforehand like what methods did he use uh the point was the story was garbage because uh <laughs> <laughs> the guy was not a writer and uh yeah. people are writers like for a reason <laughs> and they have passion for writing and, mm -hmm. and not everyone is a writer yeah so yeah not everyone is a uh, even though you want to make like mods for games not everyone is like a game designer like level designer storyteller yeah. and all that so <laughs> like on on paper this sounds like great a whole new area mm -hmm. quests everything but yeah yeah from from the trailers and stuff it looks really impressive um but yeah, yeah that's a trailer I yeah tell, like, yeah but well, we'll we'll see how it goes. I think it's I think even if it's you know not fantastic, I think it's a really great sort of community thing, and I think it it does a really good job. You know, it gives people a chance to learn and develop their skills a lot more. You know, even if they're not, they might not be sure. the best writer. It gives them a chance to. to uh, yeah, for sure. I'm just saying, like, I'm not like holding my. Oh brain. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get you. Um, uh, Swinteru says, uh, "Hey, hey! Uh, I'm glad to finally catch one of your streams. I appreciate that this uh, this is one of the best art streams that's at a reasonable time in my time zone. Beautiful work so far. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we we do our best. We do our best. Um." Marco says, do you already have a character and situation in mind, or are you just exploring general Fallout stuff with doodles? Uh, for this one, I do. Uh, not the situation, I do have the character in mind. It's the ghoul character. It's at least this like half ghoul, half cowboy dude. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. I'm just trying to picture him in a situation or like pose, like anything that is just uh, giving me cool vibes yeah like thinking okay this this can be great or or at least just interesting to me and just mm -hmm. exploring that as much as i can so i'm uh, and and this is what i was talking about this is about very personal and uh very subconscious like this like my mind is giving me suggestions and i'm just going with them as yeah. far as I can. So I was like thinking, okay, maybe he can be fully frontal, s s symmetrical pose, and then uh, just make this more um, like a book cover uh, 
thing mm -hmm. and then I'm imagining maybe like a sunrise behind him or something. A mushroom cloud. That's a great idea. Hmm. See, I, I have good ideas sometimes. <laughs> have, maybe. maybe not everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just like understood your idea. It's a it's a great idea, uh, Jaden. Uh, yeah, thank you. For for this purpose because I'm looking for something bright behind him. Mm. Uh, because he has like mid mid values, so maybe. Honestly, if it was a mushroom cloud, I would just put it up. This kind of like hiding, but that's a great idea. I will probably use it in one of the other thumbnails. I will leave this like uh, hazy yeah. sun, like heat, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I could have like let, maybe that's not symmetrical. Maybe I could have like done it um, differently. Maybe he could have been like walking and then. Yeah. <laughs> not uh, with this cut in his legs, but maybe his dog. Oh, Christina uh, heard us. Christina heard us bad mouthing Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim is okay. No, um, when when Skyrim came out, I was like mind blown. Yeah. I loved it. I played it for like a week straight. It yeah, was a great time. Yeah, but yeah, we right. were just saying that Dragon's Dogma is not Skyrim in any. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. They're just totally different. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. I I like Skyrim. I don't think I could ever go back to playing it, though. Yeah, no, I haven't played enough of Skyrim. This is... Yeah, no more Skyrim for me. Yeah. Uh, like, for the same reason uh, I said about, like, London. Like, people are like, oh, have you played Skyrim with, with, uh, Skyrim with, with mods? And... No. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, my like, I like is... mods. I was going to say, my problem is that I have played it with mods, and I've played it with so many mods that now if I go back to playing it without any, uh, it's it, it's a really difficult experience. <laughs> like, it's just, it's so boring without any mods in it now. Yeah, I like mods to an extent, and I like them just tweaking things in games. I don't like when they make uh, huge changes, because like usually they're like, Pretty obvious to me and like mm -hmm. jarring uh but i like mods that tweak things that are really annoy me in a game yeah for example like in the witcher uh i i installed a mod that uh, made this like time passing real time which was really cool uh like you can like stay in place and like pass the time to a certain hour, right? And that yeah. was usually like it's just a uh, UI uh, thing. But this mod like made you like kneel down. You see like the sky and everything. Oh, being, that's uh, cool. Forward. Yeah, that was yeah. super cool. Or like uh, I think I added a mod that added like little animations when you pick things because I don't think there there are any in The Witcher. Like you don't kneel down grab anything like yeah. when you open a chest you just pen like a bot and like things magically <laughs> appear inside of you and after playing like red dead redemption that was uh, just yeah something that... <laughs> also i think I, I may have installed a mod that made you able to sit on benches or something i i always hate when they don't let me sit on benches in game you're a, you're a big bench sitter Yes, I'm definitely a big bench sitter in game. I, I get so immersed, like sometimes I just want to, like, you see a view in a mm -hmm. game, and then you just want to, like, savor it and just sit there, yeah. and, but you don't want to, like, sit like a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to, like, can I just, like, sit on the ground or something just to yeah. enjoy this? But no. that's, where, that's where I really like MMOs. Because in MMOs, they give you emotes for everything. And there's almost definitely just a sit-down emote that you can do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. 
Yeah, I want to save this, but I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to hide your screen for a second? Get into that. I can, hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is it hidden? You sure? Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Quick, everyone, screenshot the NDAs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, Christian said, don't cross me or Melissa. Um, okay, it's fine. You, you can good. Back there we go. We're back. Um, okay. Another thing you can do with thumbnails, you can just use, uh, different value ranges. This is like very straightforward. Uh, I will try on this one to go like, um, for example, you can check like Lumi's value range. Mm -hmm. It will present you with four. Like there are a bunch of them out there. But just like an idea. Like Lumi's had an idea that you can like express everything, every image that you have in mind with those four value ranges and it's uh, and how he arranged them. So that's helpful as a general idea. But I will start this with dark background and try to see what we can let's not go with the darkest let's go this range Jaden you activated my Siri it gave me a heart attack I activated your Siri how I didn't even say anything <laughs> maybe you said seriously <laughs> oh <laughs> maybe yeah maybe don't give me that power. I used to do that when my friends were on. Uh, I was on a call with my friends. I would activate their, their like Google, their Google Home or whatever. And oh, now I just activated mine. Go away. Um, and get it to play music for them. It was amazing. What can I do with bright thinking currently? Maybe I can just make it very graphic, like kind of comics side light of the character. Like it forces you to try to experiment with different things. Yeah. Maybe, but. I'm thinking like, what can I show with this light? What does it help? Okay, I can like, this way I can like show the face directly and uh, maybe the hand reaching for the gun. And... It's a lot more film noir. Yeah. Maybe like the dog thing, this side, this whole, okay. Right, so we don't like this in position. We are removing the hand reaching for the gun. It's a hand that is flipping his coat. It will be flipping a coat in a second. <laughs> <laughs> And this hand can be reaching for the gun. How do you reach for a gun from this side? I have no idea. You do it. Yeah, you do it like this. I was then trying to figure yeah. it out as well, like with my hand. You really, really, like you lift your pinky, but... or at least I imagine it this way. And then. Uh, oh, I missed uh, I missed a question earlier. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Lily Sayu says, um, when you do these thumbnails, do you just keep them for yourself or do you send them to clients? Uh, depends. If like, the client has a request, they usually do. Mm. They usually tell you, like, I want like four sketches, then you, you can do the thumbnails in like big four that you like the most uh but yeah I'm, I'm just too lazy 
we usually do it for clients. This is like, <laughs> I kind of like leave it for myself, only the things that are like personal and I want to explore. Yeah. Clients are usually happy with uh, anything you give them. <laughs> <laughs> They're happy with uh, anything you give them. Are you sure about that? Uh, for the most part. Yeah, I, I guess you don't yeah, need sometimes to. Sometimes like the clients uh, request thumbnails. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How do you flip a coat? Would you like flip it? With your you... backhand? Or yeah, would you with like the back grab... of... I would, I would probably flip it with the back of my hand. real questions here like this is like why people should look at references <laughs> <laughs> things maybe he's like holding um, another gun oh damn then this can flip points but <laughs> another coat <laughs> oh, god you're talking about coats <laughs> Although I can flip a coin if you if you really want me to. Is she saying that? I haven't had a coin. That's a skill that people don't have. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say it was like I didn't I didn't think it was that that big of a skill, but <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> wow, how rude! How rude! Okay, now I want to add the the dog, but then. I don't like without looking forward. Also, this character is like this side. I make the dog from this side and the rear from this side. It would be better, but I don't like it. Maybe we don't have a dog. Let's continue this down. See if we can imagine better. I need to actually. I remember seeing the trailer for the Fallout TV show and uh, thinking that the ghoul's skin was really pink. It just. Oh yeah, yeah it, was... there it is. It just. It was just weird. Like um, in the in the games, they always seemed a lot more like flesh toned. I, I think you can make it uh, a character go and like pick tone problem. Uh, okay. I'll try to like transition from dark to light here. So it didn't make this fully dark. There is something in this. Uh, mm. Let's see. Maybe if I like end up with something, I can just try more versions of that. Like in dial in there. We like them or don't like that. Yeah. But yeah, that this is why I use values and not just a sketch because I can I can envision the whole thing a lot better. Mm. I don't like his hand like flips here. I can either like darken it. I'm too lazy to move him, so I'll leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. They say it's a lot more. It's a lot more moody. Yeah. Some, some moods you cannot just. Mm. It's let's say it's a lot. Well, uh, it's a lot easier to reach some modes. So mm. Different st starting values.
Uh, Kathy said, it would be cool to have a composition that plays with the reflection of the guy in like a puddle of oil or a broken piece of glass, whatever would reflect uh, in an apocalypse. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But that's a cool idea. Yeah. And I'm not doing it because you have to draw like two versions of the environment and uh, not that invested in this. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, it's great. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it will require me to draw one version of the environment in, in normal state. Mm -hmm. But then, yes, I mean, this character, you can see him. I, I watched the trailer before that, and you can see him. Uh, before becoming a ghoul mm. so that would be cool uh, in a mm. way like his previous life and then this life oh yeah that would be cool yeah yeah i can i'm not doing it yeah yeah it's, it's, a, a, <laughs> it's a good idea a lot of work <laughs> yeah, i'm just thinking uh that's like a full-blown illustration uh, mm. i just i'm looking more for like a simple like Maybe like a book cover mm. illustration, yeah. something like that. It can be, you can end up with very graphic things like nothing in the sky or like something very like suggested. Yeah. Of, uh... Uh, Jedi Head Flicks sure. says, "This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying to learn. Uh, I've done art my whole life, but the only digital stuff I've done is on Procreate, uh, unfortunately." I mean, Procreate is pretty powerful. That's pretty good. So, um, what is he trying to learn? I think just digital art. Just um, stuff like Photoshop and, and that. Yes. I mean, it's all about your approach. If you approach digital art like a traditional art medium, then you have the same properties, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if we don't have a dog, I can add a second. Wouldn't like fit the dog in this scenario. I kind of like this, honestly. Yeah, that one's, that yeah, one's that's a vibe. Nice. Yeah. That's a vibe. Okay. Um, maybe I can try something. A. Actually. Hmm. No. Yeah, we can try I'm trying to like flip images in my mind <laughs> like just a suggestion of a situation like mm -hmm. I cannot people think that uh, people that don't draw usually think that you can uh, maybe some can like imagine the whole picture in their head I cannot I can just like have a glimpse of a feeling like like you look uh, to a blurry trailer shot for like a second then you're like okay there's something there and you can like try to imagine it yeah then you have like little glimpses uh the blink in your mind and then you mm. use your skill to like kind of like pinpoint what makes them what they are but yeah, maybe kim jung gi would just see what he, he might yeah he'll probably just be like yeah i know exactly what i'm doing today and then just yeah. <laughs> smash it out that's probably that's probably, <laughs> that's probably Uh, Dash said, oh, hello, I thought the stream is only just starting. No, we started an hour ago. It's okay. Welcome, welcome. I use another value here. I don't really see what it will, if it will give me like anything to buy. It will kind of ruin this. Why am I covering the side? Oh, I made a new layout. No. Uh, let's see, yeah, Procreate is a cool thing, and I don't really understand why many artists underestimate it. You can literally make huge splash arts there, and the only limitation is your iPad's technical technical specs. Oh, people don't underestimate un oh, what did I even say? <laughs> people don't underestimate it. Uh, Procreate is just garbage. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a great program, but it's just so unreliable. It crashes sometimes for like absolutely no reason. 
uh, it, it can make you, I think for my wife, it just ruined some of her work. It just like downgraded the resolution without any reason. It was like, like reduced the size by three times, which made what? it like void. Uh, <laughs> Be sent to an actual client without like complete. It's just a, like a random bug that, yeah. that like apparently can sometimes occur. Uh, also, like the iPad as a whole is just such a headache to deal with with files, and then you need to like upload them to a cloud or somewhere and mm. just import them to your Procreate, and then if you want to like send them to a client usually you don't just say the send a procreate file and then you need to like clean it in photoshop or something then you just port it to your pc and then uh, you have to deal with a lot of other like uh garbage at least for like a professional standpoint also mm -hmm. if you're a professional artist you're forced to work with what other people use because like those programs uh usually have uh very weird like little bugs for example yeah. like something with look with like an overlay layer will look one way on your screen but then when you port it in photoshop it will look completely differently if somebody has to pick your file and continue from there mm -hmm. because like photoshop handles this complete like file system completely differently than procreate uh so <clears throat> bottom line if you're like sending like finished images with like limited size and to a client that is happy with just having a jpeg uh, or like a png of your file you can use procreate yeah. and if you feel it's reliable enough to don't crash and uh you can definitely use it like pro for professional work that you want if you're a professional artist because you just I mean, at least if you're a professional artist that uh, works with other people. Yeah. Because it's just not compatible with anything other than appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, it's not a bad program. I, I heard another one, uh, but I forgot the name on the iPad that people like compare more to photoshop and just say it's uh, much much better than procreate but i will just leave you in suspense because my memory is garbage <laughs> i was gonna say i don't i don't know i haven't really heard i haven't really had heard much about uh about alternatives i mean i know but... the artist that is using it so i can check if people are that interested yeah uh, I will inform There is an artist called Nox is Mad. Uh, his name is Bruno Gor, actually. He's a very OG artist, I knew him. Okay. For a lot of years. Uh, his existence, not him personally. <laughs> so let me check what he was using. Uh, Art Studio Pro. Using Art Studio Pro, they have it. Uh, I haven't awesome. checked it, but he swears it's much better than Procreate. Yeah, and he's like a very good artist, so I would like. I'm inclined to to believe him, trust at least to mm. to a degree to check it out for myself. Yeah. Uh, Procreate is great, but the art isn't vectorized, so I got so used to using Procreate, so I'm trying to learn how to use Adobe. Yeah, I mean, Photoshop does raster images, doesn't it? It doesn't do vector. Yeah. I think Illust uh, Illustrator, I think, does vector. Yeah. What do you think, Jaden? Dark? No dark. Uh, I think without. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit more like suggestive, right? Yeah. Now. It's kind of like more mysterious. This is like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I think so too. Good taste. Okay, Good taste. Yep. Are you guys allowed to work on iPads or other personal 
techniques in one place, especially again, in my studio, so I had to move to Photoshop. Yeah, it's much more preferable to use uh, Photoshop. Yeah. In like, not in Moon Colony, but in general, in any studio environment. Yeah, it just makes it, it makes it easier when there's an industry standard. It's, it's again, it's like, on, uh, let's call it, uh, unexpected behavior that, that those yeah. programs can have. Yeah. That will actually, like, you don't want them at all in that production mm -hmm. pipeline. Yeah, well, there's that, and it, it also goes back to what you mentioned earlier about compatibility issues as well, like different programs will handle transparency differently or layer modes differently or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, or like Procreate will not be able to work with like 40 layers or something, and you will be surprised like how many layers you can use in a production. Like in my light, latest PSD, I have like 120 probably. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember. And it's not like a personal uh, decision of me. If, if it was me, I would use like four. <laughs> like something like that. It's yeah. a requirement to keep different things and different layers so that can be adjusted eventually and stuff. And that will just melt Procreate into. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your iPad will set on fire. Cathy <laughs> uh, says, wow, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. is. Also, it will melt your PC <laughs> as well. If you're using a uh, Super PC, mm. I guess. Uh, Dippy said, yeah, I understand that. I knew this day would come. I just meant, uh, I just meant if it's also connected to safety reasons like leaks or something when you work on personal equipment, what do you think about it? I mean, uh, I mean, your PC is a personal equipment. So yeah. Much, I don't think that's much different. Yeah. I feel like even if even if you were using work equipment, right, it's pretty much the same safety issue as if you're using a personal equi uh, your personal equipment. But in terms of the program being used, I don't see why that would be a safety issue. Yeah, I mean they don't use clouds, I think. Procreate. Last time I checked, but okay. if it's like a like procreate like specific issue that can arise, but yeah, otherwise it's just a risk that uh, is taken by, by those firms that are mm -hmm. like not in house. Certain risk uh, when working with artists. Also, like the company will probably not care. Uh, you sign an agreement that you won't leak it. When you leak it, it's your problem, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <The company>. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you do what you feel is uh, safest, I guess. Yeah. I was going to say, at the end of the day, it's probably going to be you that gets sued if uh, <laughs> if you yeah. if you leak a bunch of documents. <laughs> And I don't know who exactly will sue you, like your company or like the end company. Or, like... <laughs> Both. <laughs> that would, that would but yeah. Okay, maybe like a tranquil scene. Uh, these ghoul guys like, making, like baking marshmallows. Yeah. Background, there is like a comic bomb. Yeah, that would be good. I don't know if that's the angle I want to go with this, but it's... Mm. it's a nice scene anyway. Yeah, just explore different different scenarios. Yeah. Not all will work, but it will help you probably. Mm. Either understand the vibe, the mood, the scene, like the 
like I may use this vibe on like different one of those thumbnails decided that uh, maybe this will look better with such vibe or like anything like that but you you just keep exploring and this will like get you further in your mind yeah what you want to achieve with it Uh, like after that, you can like push it to sketch as uh, the, mm. if you want. You can make like sketches. Like a lot of artists uh, are very annoying to uh, complete drawings sometimes. Like a lot of like very famous artists just go ahead and like have this thumbnail, then have like three versions of this thumbnail with different light and then like four versions of it with color. And then uh, they will make like small versions of it mm -hmm. <laughs> that are like very pushed and like for like a research standpoint of view and then just go and make a final <laughs> painting at the end. But I am not that passionate about art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, I like it. But I like uh, doing things other than this as well. Yeah. For example, playing Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. I like art, but I also like finishing it. <laughs> yeah. I, some people are like, I realized that I will probably never be better than those people. But uh, I had like a time in my life that I was like thinking I will be the best artist that walked this earth. <laughs> and I like truly believe it. Uh, but if yeah. you like, put uh, all your effort into it, you can be that. But then I realized I don't <laughs> want to put that much into it. Like, I want to exist as well. Those people are like, they live and breathe art. Like, they would prefer like doing that over anything else. And you can't really compete with such a person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, you tell me, do you want to watch a movie? Like, go on hike, play, play a game, like, do anything other than that, and they'll be like, nope. <laughs> no, is, no, I'm done, I'm happy. This is the best thing I can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you want to go for a walk? Can I bring my sketchbook? It's like, T yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Kim Jong, for example, he, when you, when you see like those, the vaults of him, or like mm -hmm. pictures of him like people are drinking coffee like socializing like talking he's always like drawing those people yeah. doing what they're doing man i i don't think i've ever i don't think i've ever been that passionate about anything <laughs> you know maybe gaming actually maybe well, gaming. maybe i think i will prefer most gaming over most things in life <laughs> yeah honestly like, for example, if it, there is a game that you're really passionate about and then it's coming out and then like, you will, like, you can suggest most everything in life and I will be like, ah, uh, no, I prefer <laughs> doing this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm fairly balanced, you know, I, there's, there's not much that I would be like, uh, I don't know, there's not one thing that I would necessarily put above everything else. I feel like I'm just like too too laid back to be that passionate about, about anything. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great way to live life, I feel like, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like any sort of like, um, too, too passionate behavior and like two one-sided behavior, I think it's like bad for you. Yeah. Like life has proven at least for me to be always the best when it's a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Never like only one thing. Yeah. So even if you're like, even if I can become like the best artist that ever existed, like just ignore everything else, I would never like actually yeah. want to do it. Yeah. Uh, Checkered Cat says, Alex, I'm not the best artist. Meanwhile, also Alex, five minutes, three million illustrations. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's not quite three million illustrations. It's like, it's like five. Yeah. <laughs> but I see your point. 
Yeah, I, I, I said that I don't. I realized that I won't. I won't ever be the best. I didn't mean that I wouldn't like try to be the best around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in like a couple of kilometers. Yeah. Something. Like reasonable best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. in the world. The world is a bigger place yeah. than I knew back then. In in your in your region. Yeah. Like first you want to be like the best in school, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Work from there. Yeah. I want to be the best artist in my house. <laughs> Jaden, uh, give me a suggestion. A suggestion. What do you envision main character doing with a dog? Uh, my mind instantly just went to playing fetch. <laughs> so fetch. That's a great idea. But what is he fetching? Like a giant, like, like a bone, cockroach? like a huge bone, <laughs> massive bone. Oh, or like a. Hold on. Death claws yeah, have maybe. like big horns, right? Or big, they well, they have big claws. What am I talking about? They're called death claws. But they illustrate this in, in like a narrow perspective, man. They're like very good for some things, but uh, not for others. Uh, a mutant bone. I was thinking like a giant cockroach leg or something. Yeah, that could yeah, that could work. But... Yeah, like picturing instantly the character like this, but then like holding this and like, and I don't like the dog being like this. You see what I'm? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's so happy. Yeah, there is like different ways you can approach a sketch even as a thumbnail. Like sometimes I approach it like an outline and that helps me like figure what I want. Uh, for example, like in this. Do this, don't worry about uh, what's going on inside of the character. Yeah. It's like details can like distract you. Uh, Feel free to, to pose any ideas in the chat as well, guys, because they're probably going to be better than whatever I can come up with. Oh, I like that. I will explore yours in a second. I searched Google for death claw, and one of the one of the images is like a fan art of a death claw with just like a vault dweller's arm hanging out of its mouth <laughs> with a with a pit boy on it. And it kind of made me thought that would be a funny thing to be playing fetch with just a dismembered arm. <laughs> I'm exploring this whole uh, starting from a sketch. Yeah. Thing. See if it will give me uh, new things to work with. Uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking like the main character like sitting, like again baking something on the fire, like something disgusting, giant cockroach or something. Oh yeah, he's just pulled that. And out. then the dog is like drooling and yeah, like, yeah man, give me some of that. Yummy. Then maybe if we are wild, we can add a little ring light and closure in the back. Whoa. But that's maybe too much. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this. It would be nice light. to. You could probably get some nice underlight if you just use the light from the campfire or whatever he's cooking on, you know? Maybe. But I'm. 
honestly, the older I get, the less I like strong lights. Mm -hmm. Such as this. Uh, maybe, maybe I can just like make it very, very calm. And controlled. I can try this uh, whole back, uh, black. black one. Mm. Again. Oh, I've just seen uh, Dippy Sock says, Alex, by the way, do you have any preferred ratios of the image when making art? I see there are a lot of different ratios. Why so? <laughs> um, it's just like, first off, those are uh, just uh, know, so you can just adjust them later on. But like I usually when I do thumbnails, I like to experiment with like every type of ratio, like wide, tall, yeah, and all of the above. But currently, I'm like uh, trying to limit it to a bit more like polar perspective or like squarish. I mean, mm -hmm. perspective like composition, so it can be used in like socials after that. That's why I'm using it. Otherwise, this is my most hated uh, problem. <laughs> like, it's the least cinematic mm -hmm. uh, one. Uh, it's always like very wide yeah. uh, shots. And yeah. Makes it more interesting, <laughs> pushing you out of your comfort zone. It's not my like go to for sure. Say that. Yeah. What was the question again? Do I like? Do I like have? <laughs> do you have a preferred, preferred ratio? Yes, yeah, so like yeah. uh, wide shots are my preferred. Mm. But it's not like ratios. This is like very modern uh, social media type of looking at uh, just like wide uh, shots are my preferred ones. Let's call it that. Yeah. Also, anything that goes away from splash art or social media art or anything like that mm -hmm. because i am too jagged now to actually enjoy that <laughs> for myself mm -hmm. yeah it's it's very rare that i uh it's very rare that i go on social media now actually you know it's yeah it's quite, it's quite it's sad that as an artist you're kind of like forced to mm. deal with it and if you want to do well with it you can like apply by the rules and i don't so i don't do well on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you, at least to some extent you at least find clients you you need to put yourself out there and be seen you yeah. need to, like obey some rules or just like go to platforms that don't have those rules uh, yeah but yeah like instagram is the most disgusting one i can think of because like there then you really need to obey some rules to be either seen or like to put your art in like a better light mm-hmm if you put like a wide shot on Instagram, that that's gone. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's it's Instagram's photo like formats are, are pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, it, Instagram in general, like dealing with any sort of image that is not exactly what it wants, it he's like nah, mm. keep it. Keep it, you peasant. We don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> your angles. Yeah. Yeah. Say what. Say what you want about Twitter or 
X, whatever you want to call it, but at least you can upload like any uh, any size image that to that. I don't know. I'm just a hater for social media. Yeah. As a famous F1 driver put it recently, Max Verstappen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would prefer it would it, if it were never like invented. Yeah. It just exist. <laughs> did he say? When did he say that? I don't know. It was like some random <laughs> interview. <but it> just... <laughs> Man, I haven't watched any. I haven't watched any Formula One to, uh, this do, season. Do you watch usually? I normally watch the highlights. Um, in the UK, you have to like. I would have to pay like thirty pounds a month or something crazy to watch the Formula One. So we just have one channel that shows like the highlights from the race, and I I, I normally watch those, but I haven't caught very many this year. I don't know, honestly, how much I pay. Probably not 30. I think it's like 17. Yeah. Seven? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because I think you can probably just pay for F1 TV or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah I have that. Yeah, we don't have that in the UK anymore. Really? Uh, yeah. The, the rights to air... F, uh, the Formula One was sold to a company called Sky. So that's weird. They're yeah. probably the, the biggest amount of like British drivers so out of <laughs> yeah. yeah any drivers in F1. Yeah. yeah, it's like home of the Formula One. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you have to buy their like sports package to be able to watch it, and it's like thirty pounds a month, and you get access to like all of the sports channels. And I'm like, but I don't want. I don't want the sports channels. I just want Formula One. It's the only one I care about. <laughs> but it's fine. I survive. All right. What was it? Fetching dog fetching. Yeah. Like honestly, if if you change these guys, like uh, if they're running towards monster, but if you change his hand, like a tossing hand, and the dog running, that would be the. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Sok asks, do you guys have any other hobbies outside of digital uh, digital drawing or painting? He's obsessively playing games. <laughs> yeah, <that's good>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that counts. I don't know, do you even have time for hobbies anymore, Alex? I mean, as, as I said, games, I think, are... Yeah. The only hobby I can have. Yeah. Have a guitar behind me. Have a bicycle. Have a snowboard that I haven't used in three years. Oh man. Uh, have a like workout mat like on this mm -hmm. side. Oh yeah. But basically, you can see it all about yeah, me all of me. all of Alex's life is behind like, him. Unintentionally, yes. <laughs> but uh, I don't see any games. But there's yeah. like, some art books about games there. And there's my annoying little cat right there. Oh, I can't see it. It's off the it's off the screen for us. Oh. Yeah. This uh, fellow counts it up by favorite games by the count by who? By you. Do you think that do you think that like the any of the Fallout games are in your like top five? Probably not. <laughs> but it's definitely probably in the top 10 maybe mm -hmm. top yeah. 15 it is a great game definitely something that I would recommend to everyone but then you have like games like Mass Effect and then <laughs> other yeah. great games I... and then... what, what, what would you say Jaden where is it uh, with you I don't think I don't think Fallout would be anywhere on my favorite games list i uh this is where i out myself and say that i don't actually really like fallout <laughs> really yeah yeah i Man, have you, you out for so long <laughs> yeah i know i have uh i have all of the games apart from the the fallout 76 or whatever it's called 
Um, but yeah, I have one through four. And uh, yeah, I couldn't get into any of them. Nice. Um, I just think, I just don't think that the, like, the, the theme is there for me. You know, that apocalyptic wasteland is just not I can understand that. yeah not my thing like, uh personally i put it like fantasy post-apocalyptic then sci-fi but i can understand mm. people uh, having opinions <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know it's i think uh, for me it's just like cool yeah this place is empty and desolate and sad cool that's that's nice <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah i can understand that yeah i mean for me it is very vibey and mm -hmm. cool, moody but i can yeah. understand like people having like completely different uh look on it for example a friend of mine was telling me that i don't know how true is that but that they are like making a remake for Max Payne or something. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if that's true, I didn't confirm it. He mm. just said it, I didn't care enough to check it. Uh, yeah. But he said it like yesterday, and I remember the last game just being such a drag. Did you play the third one? Uh, Yeah, I did actually, a long time ago, like when it first came out. Uh, it was just like a balding man self-eating himself for like <laughs> every chapter of the story and, uh, and with a like dragging like moody mm. music behind and just like not my vibe <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm getting depressed from this <laughs> it's, not, it's not exciting i don't like him as a character yeah like this thing. yeah at least the first two the first two oh. max Payne games right. were like moody they had that noir kind of atmosphere but yeah the third one is just sad <laughs> yeah just sad sad man <laughs> Yeah. Complaining about things. <laughs> <laughs> um, Melissa says that all of the people are really rude in the speech options in Fallout. <laughs> oh man, have you ever played Wildstar? Oh, the, the MMO? Yeah, years ago, yeah. This was my biggest complaint about Wildstar. If you played the bad guys faction, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what they were called, but like everyone was treating you like garbage. <laughs> I was like, who thought this was a cool idea? They were ever, yo, now go ahead, you useless uh, NPC, just go and catch that for me. And you're like, do it. And then he's like, yeah, thanks. Great job, buddy. That sucks. <laughs> like, the next guy. <laughs> he's like, everyone was belittling. Did you? Um, it's really funny you say that because. Uh, recently, I started playing um, Star Wars: The Old Republic, the MMO, uh, with like a, a friend of mine. Yeah, I played it. <laughs> yeah, and if you play the Sith Inquisitor, uh, it's Is like it the same backstory. Thing? It's the same thing. You're like you're like a slave who is being uh, like who is essentially being like forced to become a jedi hunter and you literally just get treated like garbage the whole time because you're not even a person to them they're literally like hey slave go and do this thing and then you do it and they're like thanks idiot <laughs> like... <laughs> but but your dialogue options are so funny that you can just be like you can just totally like flip it on its head and you can turn out to be so much worse than they are <laughs> like, you can like talk back to them and they're like yeah well you're not even a person to me so like your opinion what, what, what do i care like they just treat you like absolute garbage but i just me and my friend are playing it and we're just finding it just so it, it's just so funny because you can be just as bad as they are to you to someone else like it's just wild it's just so funny oh that sounds great that yeah was, in wildstar you couldn't like replay <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah just, like breaking blows randomly yeah if you haven't yeah if you haven't played it i, I have but i played like a jedi i think oh. just, yeah, with Gen 
Yeah. Like generic dude. Yeah. Because uh, when you do when you do Sith, you can either be like um, a Sith like uh, like Padawan basically, um, and they will they will talk to you as if you're like the best person ever, and you're like the savior of the Sith. And then you do the Inquisitor, oh. and it's like the total opposite, <laughs> and it's incredible. Oh, I didn't know it was like still uh, available. To play yeah, this game. yeah, they're still putting out updates. Like, like they have a bunch of uh, stuff in there from like the Mandalorian and stuff like that. I think. Um, I think I, I tried like a Jedi and this like bounty hunter dude. But... Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's it's really funny just for the just for the story of it. Like the gameplay is like mid, but the story is what it's is where it really shines, I think. I'm trying like kind of a, I don't know how to describe it. Either a book cover or like mm. Anime intro perspective. I was about to say. I was about to say this looks like an anime intro, um, or like an anime poster or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, more like an anime intro, yeah. Yeah. Book cover. I'm struggling to put the dog. <laughs> like the dog jumping as well, and. <laughs> You can add like secondary characters, I guess, if you want to go fully anime. <laughs> this pose is probably not the best jumping pose I have drawn in my life. I just <laughs> trying to see if I like this <laughs> um, idea. So, I don't like that the leg goes out, but I guess that's how it goes. Uh, there are also roads in speech options in game. Ah, in Fallout, yeah. But yeah, uh, what is what game would you put in? At least, maybe not the first one. What would you put in, like in third place? Third place. Just like first one. The first one is very difficult. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Dash just said in the chat, all this guy's missing is a piece of toast in, <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> Full anime intro. Bread in mouth. Yeah, there it is. Um, man, my third. I would, I would honestly be really tempted to say like Dragon Age Origins for like one Wait, of my top three. What was Origins? Uh, it wasn't like it wasn't Dragon Age two, right? No, Origins was the first Dragon Age. That was great. Yes, that was one. That one was great. I didn't like complete it. I think I, mm. uh, I didn't really understood RPGs that well uh, back then. And like, the, I, I reached like a dungeon that was like very difficult for me to uh, go through. Mm -hmm. I think it was like somewhere uh, after like meeting with some elves in the forests. I don't know. Oh like, yeah. Exactly where and what was happening, but I. I died a couple of times and I was like not that invested. I guess and I was, was like, yeah, I can move on from here. But I really liked Inquisition. I uh, have, I, I have mixed, I have mixed opinions about Inquisition. Um, I, I do really like it, and I, I've played it. Well, I've finished it twice now. Um, but yeah, it, you kind of like it. At least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do like it. Um, it took me maybe three or four tries to actually finish it, though, because uh, I didn't like the whole war table thing where it's like, OK, cool. You want to go and do this thing? Cool. Wait 24 hours and come back. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just let me do it. Yeah, there was something like that. Um, I didn't finish it because I play open games uh, too openly. And I just yeah. go and boring things until I hate the game. Yeah. Explore everything on 
the map that they give me because like initially I, I like the game so much i'm like oh no i don't want to like finish, finish it, it now yeah i want to like complete this whole area first and then uh, there is another area and then another <laughs> area and then I yeah. hate the game because I'm doing like the most boring like side quests you can like imagine just to complete an area. Yeah. Uh, Melissa said I liked the personal prison in Inquisition. The personal prison. You mean where you I... can like judge where you can like judge people? I remember. Yeah, I don't remember a prison. I remember a judgment like system. I mean. Uh... Oh. Wait, you have enemies, you can throw them in prison, which is open to the outside, but if you go out, you fall in a waterfall. Oh, what, like in like in uh, Game of Thrones, where they lock Tyrion up in the in, in the prison, if he walks out, he'll fall off a cliff. I didn't, I never saw that. Maybe I didn't check it out. Honestly. Yeah. I didn't like like in Dragon's Dogma that they force you to make your characters ugly. <laughs> I I really so uh, you haven't seen my character in Dragon's Dogma, but they are uh, I made them into a little goblin man, a uh, little goblin woman, and they <laughs> they're like this really ugly goblin lady who's a witch, and it's incredible. It's so good. I don't know. If I don't make a cool character, I cannot like get invested. Um... Oh, it's so good. Me and my me and my pawn are both like little goblin people. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to send you uh, the pictures I've got of them after this because they're 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 great. Um. Dash said, uh, oh, by the way, Alex, um, I read Drawing Dynamic Hands by Byrne uh, Hogarth by your recommendation. Um, I wouldn't recommend reading it, but you can, like, draw it. Uh, let me check. Uh, uh, but they said, I'm seeing a lot of improvements in my hand drawings, so thank you. Uh, definitely, when I was little, I liked his hands. Uh, in general, because he goes very, he goes very exaggerated in drawing them. Mm. It, is, it is helpful. Also, they look uh, alien, but it is helpful learning anatomy and fingers and like what things are like relevant inside of a hand. Mm. But his his anatomy is kind of cartoony in general. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally like Bamas. I don't know how much he's famous outside of uh, my country, honestly. Uh, but, but yeah, Hogarth was definitely one of the things I looked. I never read an, an anatomy book in my life. Mm -hmm. And I cannot tell you how most of the muscles are bold, but yeah, I think I'm pretty solid with anatomy. Yeah. Also, I did teach anatomy at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a long, a long and, time ago. I'm just googling a jumping German Shepherd uh, <laughs> reference because, like, I. Cannot be bothered exploring this pose. Oh man, time has gone quick. I just yeah. like time. Hey, can can they not jump goofy? Uh, is they... there not, not another goofy option? Okay. Uh... You're gonna look at like dogs at like uh uh um oh, what are they called <sighs> like when when dogs do like the the shows the vaulting. yeah oh, like yeah. the vaulting yeah that's the one um, let's just put it here like a scribble see this can be a cool 
like little image. This can be the female character. It's ugly currently, but if I invest, I can be holding some type of weapon. Yeah. Maybe this they they had like a nuclear weapon, uh, mini nuke shooting gun. Mm -hmm. But I would need to revisit that if I'm going to use it. This will be the coolest, but then it will be the hardest. <laughs> yeah, you've got three characters to do. Yeah, if I if I click do the sketch before next time, uh, mm -hmm. at least push this to a decent state, I can probably. And uh, usually this is very splash art type illustration. People expect it to be some a certain level of finish. Yeah. But yeah, maybe I can do one of those dark guys or like this guy. First one is not that bad in the tier. Yeah, I think the first one is nice. Yeah, I think the first one is quite nice as well. But this is well. Okay. This dark the guy, he's like, yeah, you cannot see it, but he's like, oh, this is his hand. This is, he's holding a gun. Um. He fires at something, then the dog is here, like barking on, like doing a doggy thing. Maybe oh, I see. He's doing that thing where you like pull back the hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gun. yeah. So this can be cool as well. With the maybe it's just one of the stronger compositions. I feel like. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the dog is doing, but I think he's just funny. He's just having a good time. He's just, he's just vibing. Dog is vibing. Can be, I don't know. Block is waving in the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this one actually. Mm-hmm. Let's see, this can be a cool image with him and the dog. And uh, maybe we can play with this nuke idea somewhere in the background and not use like a sunset. Yeah. Just to indicate the apocalyptic feeling, not that like a dead. Uh, Cowboy. A dead cowboy, movie. yeah. <laughs> Just this that this one is cool, but this is like a personal image that I would usually mm. draw for myself or something like that. Yeah. I'm not sure how many people will appreciate. So this is like a different approach, honestly. Uh, that mm. like, this would be an approach that I would send to a client because I would expect him to like this. Uh, this would be an approach I would send to a probably book oriented than this one and this one. And this one is a, like a, for a cinematic action thing going on. It's like a very moody, like something's happening in this situation. This is like yeah. more cinematic. Uh, for example, like for animation type or like a movie type like set in a mood or a scene or like dialogue mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one is more artsy mm -hmm. something that Definitely. i would like for myself because i pretentious man <laughs> and this this in general is the weakest i feel uh because that nuke is Useless there, you see only backs, and then they are looking at. I don't yeah. know, I, I'm not feeling it much. Maybe if there was like something cooler happening uh, in front that makes this more interesting, uh, maybe it could have been like a giant creature, like casting a shadow on the dude. There's goes out of frame or something like that uh, currently it's just lacking i'll still cast a shadow because I... <laughs> you can yeah <laughs> <laughs> um 
Dash just said uh, the way you get a great value contrast immediately is incredible. Uh, how do you practice this? Haven't. Just, you just, just naturally gifted and talented. <laughs> I guess it's like accumulation of like experience, but I haven't like, mm -hmm. practiced it honestly. Yeah, I guess doing uh, stuff you, like you this can, is probably. You... Yeah, this is actually a practice. Like, you set up from like a mid midpoint. You can mm -hmm. just uh, it's just, most of them I started from this like pair one, but two of them are with the dark one. Just uh, and you end up with completely different like result. And I am mostly like distracted and talking about things. This is usually one of the more uh, intent processes. You mm -hmm. you have to like delve into your like mind and just go on feel. You're like, okay, this is a character and what is this, and then uh, push from there and just. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend like being very distracted in this. Uh, moment when you're exploring but we end up with some some images i don't know if all of them are cool like like purple yeah i like uh, i like a few of them um well to be fair i like most of them but i think i think you're right that the the one with the bomb going off is probably the weakest one yeah this uh, one yeah also like it, it immediately like flattened the ball match this bomb for some reason made like a foreground and a background like there's nothing you can do do behind that so yeah. it's just blood in general and uh, maybe if there was like like in general you need at least three planes like foreground midground and background you have any sort of depth yeah uh, if you want to like maybe you don't want to. like for example we have this like guy and this depth is just made by the feeling of him getting lost in the background mm -hmm. and this creates a uh, depth on its own without having the planes uh or maybe it's something very graphic like this dude i kind of like this if it's drawn graphically it's like more strong line work or like yeah if it was it a bit more like comic comic-esque i guess yeah if you grab this uh... oh yeah Maybe the scorching sun behind him. Mm. It's not horrible. Yeah, that's nice. Um, Dippy Soccer said, is, there, uh, is are any of these thumbnails expected to go to the end and be posted on Moon Colony's social media or your personal ones? Um, I wish I could see the final. It seems so interesting. Well, we're going to be taking, uh, we're going to be taking one of them forward uh, in a future stream. Uh, when is that scheduled for? Let me check. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that looks that looks neat. Yeah. Uh... Oops. Oh, I lost it. So <laughs> <laughs> it cannot undo that. But yeah, whoever saw it. Yeah. Uh, the 11th of April is when the next one is scheduled in, which I think is actually the day before the series premieres. So that's fun. Oh, see, that looks cool. See, that was so that was so simple. <laughs> done. Yeah. No next. <laughs> Don't need a part two. We're done. <laughs> I think this one will be like best how 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 it was like mm -hmm. gray. Let me just check. Be something like actually something night oriented, bluish. Oops, I destroyed the colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
didn't use a lighter value, so it's gonna insert it. Something like that. I kind of like that as well. Cool. Uh, I missed the other one. Let me just try this one for just for just for the fun. just for the fun. Uh, you hope to jump on the stream in the future? Yeah, yeah. Let's say if you're not part of our Discord already, um, I notify everyone when when we go live. So you know you can you can join us on there. Uh, I'll drop a link in the chat for that. Uh, there you go. Wonder if some sort of left click in the voice. Mm. Um, I don't know. It can be done cool. I can see it. I can see it. Um, Kathy Arts says, come on, you make it look so easy. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe, maybe an inverse one can be interesting at least. Mm. At least it will stand out. To, yeah. To what would people like expect? But I don't know about that. Maybe like half, half in verse, half not. Don't That'd even know what that means, but I kind of you like would, see it in my mind. <laughs> you do. You inverse the shadows. The shadows are inverted, or the light is inverted, and the rest of it isn't. Yeah, that's basically what inverse is, yeah. but like that will kind of like make some things look weird. Like, for yeah. example, like the mouth will be bright, and I don't know if I like that. So maybe I can invert like some parts, like the dog and like half of him, and but then mm -hmm. have normal light in places that I. I mean, I can do whatever I want, right? So it's true that. Yeah. Uh, nice. Yep. Something like that, I guess. Yeah. So we'll just we'll just uh, continue it next time. Uh, mm. Do we like? I can either pick it myself, or like, what do you think, Jaden? What are we doing next time? Well, um, it depends. I mean, we could. It's kind of up to you, really. If you want to pick one, then you know you can do a sketch ready for next time, and then we can just build upon it, um, or we can do a we can do a vote and see what see what the community likes. But then you could get one that you don't want to draw. <laughs> true, true, and the community would probably like. Uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm underestimating people, but I think they will choose this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll go with the anime intro, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess I'll give it a, a, a think, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll go with this one, but without the inverse. This looks like it can be a solid illustration, honestly. Although I would like to do this. Mm -hmm. And this one, uh, kind of yeah. like maybe I mean better than this version, but like this idea of the main character going towards us. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one's nice. Yeah, with the eyes. Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, like menacingly, and the dog, like maybe with a bit of haze of the heat. Mm -hmm. And also, he's not like going outside of uh, the frame. Yeah. But um, yeah, maybe this. Maybe this. We'll see. Probably we'll go with this. Cool. This, this if I spend. But uh, I guess come next time and check for yourself. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a nice surprise. We'll see which one ah. which one we're doing. Um, Dibisok also says, could you uh, could you post the canvas once it's finished? Otherwise, I'm threatening my drive to be filled with screenshots from the stream. Uh, yeah, I can yeah. 
send this to like you want this one like this unfinished sketchy one i can send that to Jaden. yeah i can i can post it whatever he wants with it yeah sure yeah we'll we'll get something figured out um but yeah i think as i said the next the next one is currently scheduled in for the 11th so uh we will have something we'll have something ready by then whichever one of these it is um but you know thank you uh alex for for coming along and doing this for us it was really nice to have you back on here again and and have a nice chat with you it's always a pleasure yeah thank you for having me uh yeah, no worries. And likewise, it's always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. We didn't have this for a long time, I, yeah. and I enjoy doing it. Yeah. So nice. yeah, looking forward to the next one. Yeah. And thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you like enjoyed uh, the stream. If usually it's like it's on you to have the questions and uh, how much you get out of those streams. Mm -hmm. So uh, if. If you have ones that didn't like we didn't cover this time you can just try to think of any for the next time if you want to uh or yeah. not yeah it's, it, yeah it's up to you but yeah cool well thank you guys uh we will see you uh next tuesday uh, i have antoine booked in for next tuesday so come along that'll be a, another sort of character design challenge he loves doing those so uh come along and give that a watch but until then uh, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your week and have a have a lovely weekend. And I'll speak to you next week. So goodbye, everybody. Bye. Yeah.